Hello everyone. Is there a single reproduce button to reproduce all the published results? There are millions of repositories in platforms like GitHub. And in these repositories, there are also millions of computational notebooks which contain code and results. Are all these notebooks which are shared publicly in repositories like GitHub reproducible? Is there a single button to reproduce them all? In this presentation, I would like to introduce Reproduce Me Git, which has this single reproduce button to reproduce and analyze the reproducibility of computational notebooks. I am Shiva Samuel, along with Brigitta Kunigris from Friedrich Schiller University, Jena, Germany, present our work on Reproduce Me Git, which is a visualization tool for analyzing reproducibility of Jupyter notebooks. Computational notebooks have gained widespread adoption among researchers from academia and industry as they support reproducible science. They allow users to combine code, text, and visualization for easy sharing of experiments and results. In the right side, we see the structure of Jupyter Notebook, which consists of different types of cells, including markdown, raw, and code cells. The code cells can be executed and the result of the execution appears below the code cell. Several large studies have emerged to analyze the different aspects of Jupyter Notebooks. The work led by Adam Rule analyzed over 1 million publicly available notebooks from GitHub. The focus of this study was on the exploration of the usage and structure of Jupyter Notebooks. Another recent study by Pimentel and team analyzed 1.4 million Jupyter Notebooks from the GitHub repositories created between 2013 and 2018. Their focus was not only on the structure of notebooks, but also on their execution and replication. Inspired from these works, we present Reproduce Me Kit, an online tool where users can examine any GitHub repository and obtain an extensive analysis of different aspects of notebooks, including their structure and reproducibility features. The goal of this tool is to help repository users and owners to provide an overview of the reproducibility of notebooks in a selected repository by providing information on the number of notebooks that were successfully reproducible, errors that occurred during runs, difference in the results from the original notebooks, provenance history of runs, etc. Here we provide an overview of the features provided by ReproduceMakeIt. This tool covers both reproducibility study and analysis of structure and usage in notebooks. It provides the information of notebooks which successfully or unsuccessfully finish the executions. Out of the successfully executed notebooks, it provides information on the note number of notebooks that had the same or different results compared to the original. For notebooks which fail to execute, the tool shows the exceptions that occurred in their executions. These ex exceptions include import error, module not found error, file not found error, IO error, syntax error, etc. It provides direct access to Binder and Probebook. Binder is an open source web service provided by Project Jupyter to create shareable reproducible environments for Jupyter notebooks in the cloud. ReproduceMeKid also provides an export feature supported by Probebook to capture the prospective and retrospective provenance in RDF described by the Reproduce Me ontology. Probebook, which is an extension of Jupyter Notebook, provides computational reproducibility support for Jupyter Notebooks. It captures, describes, stores, visualizes, and compares provenance of the execution of the notebooks. For the analysis of the structure and usage of notebooks, it provides an overview of the repository the notebooks in the repository, cells in each notebook, the modules, and the execution environment of the notebooks. Reproduce Me Kit provides a user interface where users can enter a repository URL and reproduce Jupyter notebooks using a reproduce button. The tool fetches the content of the repository using the GitHub API, processes the repository, and scans it for Jupyter notebooks. It then loads the notebook and extracts information on their structure, cells, modules, etc. In the next step to execute these notebooks, the requirements for the environment setup are collected and installed. 
After setting up the environment, the notebooks are executed. Supported by ProBook, Reproduce Me Git captures and stores the provenance information of the execution. We use the NBTEM tool provided by Project Jupyter to calculate the difference between the two executions. The analysis on the reproducibility study of the repository is then visualized in Reproduce Me Git. Here we show the GUI of the Reproduce Me Git tool. The tool shows the highlight of the reproducibility study in the top panel and the respective detailed analysis in the bottom panel. Reproducibility is a fundamental aspect of the scientific process. Reproduce Me Kit is developed to help in supporting reproducibility of computational notebooks. We plan to extend Reproduce Me Git to support programming languages other than Python. We also plan to conduct a large-scale analysis of Jupyter notebooks using Reproduce Me Git. Finally, I would like to acknowledge Fusion, a team in University of Vienna, and Carl Zeiss Foundation for the funding of this work. You could find more information on this research in the shown links. Thank you.